Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh. How are you? Oh man, how are you? Oh good. Yes, we did see each other. So, um, how are you? What's new? I am doing well. Working with the Israeli government a little bit. Good. So, uh, yeah, trying to get some things going there that need to get going. They're not, uh, they're not thinking straight sometimes. Right. Right. Uh, so, um, they're one place, they're one place I can get to where I have some people I can talk to. Uh-huh. 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 So, ahead, my me. main question would be, uh, my, uh, I, I did the webinars on, I was guided to do the webinars on, uh, preparedness for the global collapse. Yeah. And, um. Uh, my sensation is that understanding is that the decision has been made to have a control global collapse and now the countries just line up with their time time timeline is it how it happened similar yeah <laughs> there's a bunch of things coming very shortly within well, i don't even know a couple months at the most so therefore, there is things coming for you. Your your talks are exceptionally timely. However, you d need to be a little bit more forceful. But but your loving sense is good. I like that because some will only listen to that. So that's good. You remember, just you're dealing with different kinds of people. Uh, but a lot of them already know what they need to know, and they won't even tune in because they think they know everything. You know that. There's some like that out there. I'm like that sometimes. If I think I know enough, I don't listen. Ah, I do other things. So, but yeah, there's a lot of that. Gonna There's going to be some economic issues very soon. I'm not saying entire world economic issues but there is economic issues going to come into play very shortly we'll see how they play out right there so many decisions that need to be made during that period of time to see how quickly things progress meaning that they could slow down the economic collapse or they could speed it up so I assume so, other countries. I assume other countries will uh, will collapse first, and America would stand longer, right? Not much longer, but longer than the first few. Yeah. And after America collapses, I'm I'm. The reason why America, the reason why America is so vulnerable, is there's so much in debt, and if their dollar goes down, if the dollar goes down then they're in trouble. So they need to keep that up. Right now it's good. Prices of gas are good. Things of that nature, it's all good. But it, with the collapse of certain places, that can be very effective to Earth. Uh, I mean, uh, United States. All right. All right. So our next question is a personal. Um, so I'm... Uh, working mostly full-time or almost full-time trying to earn money if the economy collapses then all this effort goes to nothing right so it would be wasted maybe i should not spend as much time uh securing the future money what's your advice no, no matter what anybody does it's not going to turn out the way you think some people will retain a good place in society because of what they have to do afterwards. Other people will not 
because it's not that important right away to do that, if you know what I mean, to do what they were doing. So therefore, there's going to be a, a very big shift in who's important and who's not. Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So therefore, money is not going to be something that is going to be important right away. It's going to be what you can do to help build the society, the community, the, what you can do to, to be of a positive influence, then you will be taken care of by your importance at that time. Because money means shit. And so it, it means nothing. Mm -hmm. Because it, it will have but a lot of people will have lost so much of it that it will be non-existent or some of the people that are going to be important will have none. So, just to let you know, I'm trying to explain it as best I can. Uh, will there be an uh, alien intervention? No. That's not possible. Let me tell you, well, it is possible, but it's not likely. And I'll tell you why. Because if Earth doesn't make it on its own volition, its own thought processes and its own manpower, then it is not worthy to be part of the galaxy. If they have help, it, it will just show that they were not worthy to be in existence. Does yes. Does that make sense to you? Yes. So they must do it on their own. They must show the universe, the galaxy, and everyone in it that they are going to survive on their own volition and not with help from other species. Now, not to say that some other species would want to come and try to help, but they will be kept away as much as possible. Right. So, uh, correct me if I am wrong, but I understand that military would be able to American military and, you know, uh, military of the uh, advanced countries of civilized world would be able to sustain their economy for many years, maybe five, ten years. They have resources. Yeah, the, the military has plans for 30 years in the future. So, yes, everyone will be looking at the military to be of a great and positive help. However, they're not they're going to be pretty negative about the way they help in in the sense that they'll want total control, total manipulation for the first few years. It'll be all about what what they're planning to do. So if, if the economy crashes, the military bases become centers of their prosperity, right? Yes. And that's not a good thing. There has to be uprisings to, in other places to show what positive other influences that can happen on the earth. Now, ideology at this time is going to be at a low because, the, I mean, most people are followers, if you guess, grasp my gist here. Sure. That are thinking outside the box and more positive bring some of those followers along to build up small areas of more utopian-like societies. Of course, they're not utopia, because there's always problems. <clears throat> there's no such thing as perfection. <clears throat> the idealists will definitely not follow the, the thoughts of the military. They will get away from that. And there will be pockets of all different kinds of society. And therefore, some of those, we, we are looking particularly at a particular, we, we see that the militaries will be, they have the most people, but there are others that will start rising up and building societies in a different way than once was thought possible. Right. I understand that too. Um, the the pockets, yes. Now the uh, the big cities. What do you expect that 
some of the big cities would have a complete collapse and some will survive no matter what? Yes, there will be some that will survive no matter what because they will they know how to protect themselves and how to keep away from the ra rubble, ramble, whatever it's called. Uh, the, uh, the groups of uh, traveling people that are just out to get food and just take whatever they can. So therefore, there will be some that will escape that because they know how to do it. They have already thought it out. Like New York, Chicago? There are, believe it or not, there are some that are very well, very well ready for this because they've seen it coming for a long time. So they will be prepared. Many will not be. Most will not be. How about San Diego? The cities will, the cities will have riots and things of that nature for the first week or so, at the most. There's only so much you can destroy. There's only so much you can take out of the cities. So that will die down and it will become just a, a city full of nomadic people or people trying to settle into places that they think will be safe. So there will be all kinds of mindsets, of course. Right. Right. What do you think about San Diego? Is it worth running away from it now, or maybe it will survive? Yeah. San Diego isn't as bad as some of the other places will be. There is no water here. Yeah, that's a problem. You'll need water. So store up some water. Yeah. No, you need like tons more. I mean, if the city dies, you have to run away. You can't live uh, with the water if the people around are crazy. So the question is, if the city alive or not? It's not dead forever. Uh huh. It's not dead forever. Right. Are you kidding? They're not going to leave that go forever, but it will be non-useful for a while. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Got it. All right. Thank you much. Uh, you might invite the next speaker if you like. That would be Makunda or Nina. Makunda, Nina, Dizdu, or Pentium. Uh, who's Makunda? Is he uh, what does he do? Yogananda. Oh, Yogananda. Yeah, I know who that is. Um, either that or Pentium or Dizdu, right? Oh, Nina, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'll call him. Ah, uh, goodbye for now. Goodbye for now. Take care. Take care. See you. Good to hear you. I like that yellow. I like that whatever. Is that yellow? It's light orange. I like it. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Ah. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's funny for you. <laughs> All right. Greetings. This is Pentim. Hi, Pentim. Um, uh, before Grindel went. Go ahead. Uh, before Grindel go far away, can you ask him if it's okay to publish his recording? What we just recorded. One moment, please. Right. Yes, she said that. Thank you. She used another set of words, but I won't repeat that. <laughs> uh, what's new? I am doing very well. Uh, I am. There is a lot of work to do with the Earth at this time. Many, many emergencies and things to be concerned about. 
the actual borders of the Gulf Coast are being changed at this time by flooding, they will not be the same ever again. I see. Um, do you agree with uh, Grindel that we might have uh, big economic shakeups within a couple months? Not of a world view type, no. But he was talking about the world economic collapse. Mm -hmm. But yes, there will be some economic problems before that happens. But they will not be universal. Uh huh. But they will be stepping stones to the the larger collapse. Uh huh. So American economy is okay for next half a year, you think? I think it is. Yes. There are some things that are undecided, meaning that the, the future for your planet is hopefully written down in the prophecies. However, we see that it could happen that some greater disadvantages happen before that time. Right. Um, well, my mind went blank. <laughs> I had questions, but my mind went blank for, for some reason. That is all right. I understand. There are several times when I am being a uh, ambassador to other places where I forget the language occasionally. <laughs> uh, so my question was, um, my feeling, like intuitional feeling or the messages I get is that the decision to follow the collapse, controlled collapse path has been taken, has been decided by agreement of whatever, world government, world uh, powers. Is it right that they finally decided to go with it forward and now they're planning the time and, and everything else? It is to some extent. You see, the cabal keeps the economy moving forward. The cabal is the one that wants to keep it moving forward until their plan for rebuilding is complete. Right. There is a lot of planning to do to rebuild a, a society, a whole world structure. Mm -hmm. So therefore, they're keeping it afloat until their idea of what a new world structure will look like. However, the Anunnaki or and Illuminati and Greys and Insectoids, there's so many things working against the Cabal to bring the economy down well before they wanted to. So, it is just a matter, it's a, it's a fight for time, basically. Uh, who will win? Who will bring it down and who will keep it up? And how will it turn out afterwards? Because they all have their ideas of uh, how society should be. Of course, with them being the manipulators of society, with them being the controllers of society. But there are many idealists out there as well that have ideas how society should be that is way different from any of the other thought processes. Now, let me tell you this. The L, who is a, a religious, well, not religious, spiritual group, I should say, have their people on the planet who will try to bring their ideas into fruition, which is to bring a greater and more beautiful and more fruitful and fair society to your planet. There are those that will rise up with these ideas. Hopefully, people will embrace them because they are wise and beautiful, but we cannot guarantee that. I understand. Yeah, when we had perestroika in Russia, when there was a change, yeah, there were people who pro who brought up great ideas. It was wonderful to, to hear that. And then it kind of all uh, became messed up, or, yeah, smudged over. The reason why it becomes messed up, as you say, 
is because those that have power and influence want that back. They right. do not want to give that up. And they know how, from being there in the past, to get some control through manipulation, even not with financial money, but through mental manipulation and they know what people respond to so therefore they will try to it that way i think that's all i have for you because i i that's the main topic of my webinars at the moment and i needed that uh clarification from different perspectives thank you much um do you have anything else for me no i don't think so. I miss giving you some poetry every now and then. I thought about those times. It was fun. Yeah, let's continue that. Now I have about six minutes left. Um, is there a uh, Makunde available to speak? Yes. He is available. One moment, please. Thank you. It was good seeing you again, Max. Nice to it's hear you. It's been a very long time. It's been a very long time. We should continue more of those. I love you very much. I love you too. I enjoy your thoughts and the way that you present them. Thank Have you. You too.